Carmel Ibel joining us now with your health and local health officials asking Albertans to keep an eye out for ticks this summer. Obviously, a lot of people camping out in the wilderness doing some hiking. That's right. Well, and the biggest concern with these ticks is that some of them could be carrying Lyme disease. A new program just launched by the Alberta government is aimed at finding out just how many of the ticks are here and where. I was sent to so many psychologists and psychiatrists because they thought it was in my head. For more than a dozen years, Ladeen Moisey had headaches, vision and heart problems, but no diagnosis. Absolutely frustrating. We have spent more time in doctor's offices than I care to even admit. A blood test done in Alberta came up negative for Lyme disease, but was found positive after it was retested in the States. That's when I finally found out that I had Lyme. Over the past few years, health officials have discovered a species of ticks called Exodia scapularis in Alberta that are known to carry Lyme disease. Since 2007, ticks on local animals have been tested. We've identified about 41 ticks that were positive for this bacteria in about 226 ticks that could carry the, the bacteria. To find out how widespread the tiny creatures are, Alberta Health has started a new tick surveillance program and for the first time people are being encouraged to submit ticks. So that when it starts showing up more and when it starts showing signs of being established in Alberta, we will know. The critters can be found in grassy or wooded areas and if you get a bite, experts say to remove the tick with tweezers. Ladine believes she was bitten in Alberta in 1996. I didn't have the typical bullseye rash, and I've come to find out that people, not everyone has a bullseye rash. She hopes this new program will better identify the state of Lyme disease in our province. I think knowledge is power. They need to acknowledge that it's here. We need to get better testing here. And if you find a tick, you're asked to call a public health office in your area. A list of those offices can be found on our website under Your Health.